children, raising up of children. Canada, the Toronto Star. I read through that. Toronto Youth Equity. Toronto is falling behind on its own plans to help at risk youth. There is so much gun violence on the street that every 12 day a child is dying. Ages between 13 to 29 or let's say a, a youth is dying and the one who shoots is also behind the bars. So what is the future of the youth here? 10 to 20 percent of Canadian youth are affected by mental illnesses and disorder and I'm not talking about just the uh, the original Goras or I have come across the Pakistanis who have settled down here their children are going through mental disorders mental disorders mean mental illnesses mean depression anxiety even OCD even as young an age as 14 15 years old studies show that globally 80% of people suffer from depression and about 1 million people commit suicide every year Canada's youth suicide rate is the third highest in the industrialized world ladies and gentlemen don't take it very easy it's a serious matter you do not know that could be your young one as well then there is stressful home environment as, as I mentioned I have seen it here even in Canada I have seen it in Pakistan I have seen I have been to Dubai I have been all over and I have seen the main cause of the mental disorders and the uh, the youth problems and all that is based on stressful home environment as I've earlier mentioned the parents not getting along and always uh, materialism rat race and all that by year 2020 it is estimated by the WHO 14.6 percent it's gonna rise and uh, naturally stress at work and internet addiction disorder are new uh, universal disorders and according to World Health Organization Global mental health resources remain inadequate, even in your Toronto, even in your Canada. This integration of familial and cultural values. That day, a lady called me up and she said, Dr. Ram, I have my children, they're all grown up and I have serious problems. They do not listen to us and uh, they refuse to call themselves Muslims. They said, we are atheists. We do not believe in your Islam, okay? And my, even my girls go out dating and drinking and partying and all that. Well, for us folks, no matter how modern we become, I don't think we would like our daughters to spend nights out in pubs, drinking and going out with anybody spending the night there. I personally feel that. I do not know about you people. Exert is unbearable stresses and life is hell. Society is crumbling, whether it is in Pakistan, it's in India, it's in Canada, it is all over the world. The tragedy is that humanity is suffering. So what is the solution? Is there a cure which is effective? Yes, there is. The ultimate remedy. I have applied this ultimate remedy in my various clinical cases right from year 2001 I've been practicing since 1996 and I have got 100% result in mood disorders in anxiety disorders in OCD as I mentioned that in all sorts of these just even in alcoholism then there is substance use disorder and children problems learning disorder it, it helps every way attention deficit the children they go calm and then marital problems yes Ladies and gentlemen, if you are having marital problems, kindly do listen to it so you can have a happy marital life. I could have gone into thousands of cases, but I would like to just share one case. This is, I call it the classical case study, and this is the longest term, the, the study that I have done. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much uh, for coming here, and uh, we specially thank Dr. Adam, and we, uh, we are very much thankful to 313 Canada TV.